Hello guys, so in today's video I will be reviewing the 1000 lumen LED headlamp. You can purchase this product and many more from myled.com and I will also put a link down in the description if you are interested in purchasing this product. So before I start I want to mention that you can find specified information and time in the description for this review. So what I received in my package is uh, what you see in front of you. It came in a regular cardboard box and uh, that was it. This flashlight doesn't come with any batteries so you have to purchase that separately. So you need these batteries, 18,650. It doesn't matter what uh, milliamp hour you have but uh, the more milliamp hour the longer the flashlight will shine. It will also have to um, make sure you have 3.7 volts, either Lion or LiPo. So you will also have to purchase a uh, charger for that. These chargers uh, turn off while the um, batteries are finished. So you don't have to worry about the house burning down. I will put a link down in the description to um, batteries and uh, charger. This flashlight is IP67 and that is practically waterproofed. So you don't have to worry about the water. So now we'll go over some features of this flashlight. But first I want to show you how we put in the batteries. like that. So first off you can tilt the lens in different directions. You can also choose how wide you want the angle to be of the light by pulling on this lens here. I can show you how, how different the beam is. I will also show this outside later. We have four different modes on this flashlight. We have uh, bright, low, strobe, and also SOS. If you hold in the button in four seconds, the SOS will start. And one thing that I think was really neat is you have a backlight that's red so while you're running on the road the cars will see you very easy so now we're going to measure the weight of this headlight with and without the batteries so I'll start with the batteries 268 grams and without the batteries 185 grams so when you are buying a headlight, you always want it to be comfortable for your head. They could have made more soft materials in the front here. You can see, it's not a lot. When I'm out there running, this is not enough mat uh, soft materials and I get headache. But that's an easy fix. Just uh, glue some softer materials on here and you're okay. And for this back part, you can actually feel the batteries through it but uh, it's still very comfortable at your back head. So what's the quality of this flashlight? The finish look a little bit plastic because it's ABS, but it still feels pretty decent. And we also have a T6 Cree LED diode inside that will last for a very long time. And it doesn't even go over 40 degrees Celsius, even though it's a LED diode. So now we'll show you some amp draws of this flashlight. So first off we have a bright point sixty six amps. We have low that's point uh, fifteen amps. A strobe about thirty eight amps, and we have a battery voltage of about uh, four volt. So I've done a test on how long this headlight will last with the batteries. At uh, high mode it lasts for 7 hours. 
low mode it's uh, 31 hours strobe 13 hours and on SOS you have 4 to 5 days so now I'm gonna do a lumen test of this headlight with fully charged batteries it starts at um, 460 lux and it's dropping down so it looks like it has stopped at uh, 410 lux so let's see how many lumens that will be So let's see how many looks the low mode has. So it looks like it's 112 looks there. So let's go and calculate. So with this test we now know that uh, the high mode uh, put out a maximum of uh, 300 lumens and a continuous 250 lumens. At low mode we have a lumen of uh, around 50 to 60. But I can tell you that this is no exception for any other light. You can practically remove 70% of the marketing lumen and you will have the true lumen. Sometimes it's even 80%. I am yet to discover a store that has the true lumen of the, their marketing flashlights or headlight. So now I am outside, I'm gonna test the light. You can see the house back there. You can see it lights up pretty good. It's about uh, 25 meters away and that is probably the maximum length you can get out of this when you have the beam as wide as possible and when you want to go further now you cannot see but um, when you have the beam this small you can actually see about uh, 60 to 70 meters So now I'm going to run forth and back with these two lights. As we already know, we have a 200 true lumen versus a 2000 true lumen. So let's see what difference that makes. So the conclusion, pros and cons, so the good stuff, we have low price, IP66, red backlight, last long on batteries, decent quality, good weight balance, it doesn't get hot, and also the Cree T6 diode that's inside will last you for 50 to 100,000 hours. And the bad things is wrong marketing lumens, they could have made it more comfortable. No manual, batteries or charger was included. The beam is flickering while I'm running. It has a charging port but uh, it's without any information. And I can also tell you that there is a lot of different choices with these headlights. So uh, before you make up your mind you should check out other types as well. So if you think this review was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it. And if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. 
I will continue to review flashlights and if you want me to review something from mylead.com feel free to write your request down below and I might review them in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.